Welcome back to Ark Eternal Volcano. So, uh, just a quick update on a couple things, guys. Uh, we no longer hate our Alpha RG. No, in fact, we love her. She is wonderful because I don't know what was going on when I first tried it, but she can, in fact, pick things up. Uh, this time, after I crashed and did some, you know, I was doing some stuff, I crashed, I came back in, and I'll be darned, I took her, I, I, I don't know, I, I don't know what I was thinking, I was taking her out to basically just kill her or something, and out of habit, I picked up a raptor. And then it hit me, wait a minute, she wasn't able to pick things up before, but she is now. Additionally, I then went out and picked up that little dodec. Yes, in fact, she can carry a dodec. So we made a saddle and confirmed that the dodec acts as a freaking mortar and pestle. Look at all this stuff. I haven't learned all of these Ingrams. I mean, many of them, but not. I didn't learn preserving salts or propellant and stuff. So it can function as a mortar and pestle and has its own set of blueprints in there as long as you put a saddle on it. So I, we grabbed it. It's just a really low level one. It does, I, you know, I just kind of picked it up I, I, out of curiosity. And so there that is. Um, we're going to now take our lovely, wonderful Alpha RG out. And I bumped up her movement speed to 150. That should be sufficient, I hope. And oh, I'm going to look around for other nice, wonderful things to pick up. Now, you may notice, too, the, the quality of the graphics is a little bit, it's not as high detail. Um, I, I wanted to maybe reduce a little bit of lag and, um, and the load times and things like that, because, you know, the higher the graphics settings, and it's my PC, it's got to be my PC that's doing that. Um, you know, the longer it takes uh, things to, to function. So hopefully that's not too bad. But, um, okay, well, she I tried to get the snake, and maybe I didn't. Um, but, yeah, we're just, we're going to look around for, oh, well, now we're, now we're lagging for some reason. What do we have here? Oh, look, it's a little baby Pariser. Come on, if I can, she's a little fast now, so it will, Aw, it's so cute. Look at it. We, we're going to kill it. And, oh, oh, I know why. Um, I got the HUD off. So, yeah. Okay, I'm doing 5,200 damage with this now. Um, it's not super great. This isn't going to be a boss killer for any uh, by any stretch of the imagination. But he can pick stuff up. And that's what we wanted. So, um, I'm just going to look for something to pick up. And I, I am loving this. I have always, always loved the RG so much because, you know, it can pick things up and fight it, you know, just bite it in its grasp and things like that. And having the Super RGs like the Alphas and Primes that can um, that can pick up things like Dodex and Ankies makes the game much, much better, in my opinion. So, can I pick up a Mantis? I sure can pick up a Mantis. And we can just eat that mantis. Well, we can kill the mantis, and that will fly back and eat that mantis. So, no, this is really good. Now, one thing it can't do, I can't do with this RG, is I can't remove the particle effect. Uh, that is a setting, apparently, for Pugnacia that you can do. Oh, look, I can pick up a freaking prime Carno. Now, that is interesting. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I didn't think I would be able to. That is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this Prime Carno. It, it's looking at us with really ill intent. Look, it's not it's not real happy. <laughs> but um, it's going to be a source of some good EXP for this bird if I can actually kill it. Let's um let's bump our melee. We got some points now. I uh, put its hit points on. Uh, I was just bumping movement speed and hit points on this thing. And then, you know, once I realized I can pick things up, okay, now it's time to get a little bit of melee with it, too. So, um, yeah, this was going to take a while. 
All right, we'll just fly as we kill this thing. And uh, we'll look for something else that we actually want. Um, I want a good dough deck. I want to see how good they are in harvesting and so forth if we get a really nice leveled one. Um, I just, you know, I haven't really paid much attention because with the crystal tools, it hasn't really mattered all that much. Why did I get Therizinoso claws from that? That was weird. Uh, can we pick up one of these guys? We sure can. Oh my god. <laughs> That's crazy. After being able to not pick up anything, and now to pick up those things? Wow. That's super good. Super, super good. Um, can we pick up a Bronto? Uh, yeah, a little, ho a little too much to hope for, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I am, I am digging this now. Uh, but we're not seeing any doe decks around. That's kind of what, what I really want more than anything. It's just a good, oh, there's, there's one. Alright, let's see, what, oh, come on. Okay, are you an eternal? Uh, okay, it's a 360. It's still better than the one I've got, so we will will not attack it in our claws like we do with the other stuff. We'll just keep looking around a little bit as we head sort of back towards the base. But yeah, I'm super excited about this now. I could, you know, it didn't make any sense to me. I got, I got really upset over the RG after we had first tamed it and not being able to right click with it and, and pick things up that the reason why I was upset is not because I couldn't get something that could pick something up because you know I could I could get a you know something I a, a quats or whatever right if it, it was just a matter of you know having something I could pick something up it was that it didn't make any sense to me that why would you change that and leave the right click completely useless like no nothing to it um, that that bother me you know more than anything I get upset about dumb things and not not that I, I get upset for dumb reasons I get upset f over things that I think are just stupid so and that that would have been a very stupid thing if it were a thing but um, it's not so um, we don't have to belabor that point so um, what we will do is think I can drop this here and then I'll get down I'll pull out my crossbow oh no 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 okay you you need to stop that and I'm thinking the crossbow does very little damage should take about four or five shots maybe Okay, we get four shots in on it. Let's wait for a bit. See how the torpor goes. Okay, don't. We're faster than you, buddy. Okay, let's. There's five arrows. Six arrows. Wow, it's taken more than I anticipated. Okay, now it's trying to run away. Are you going to fall over? Uh, the torpor effect went away, and this should do it, I hope. Uh, and it's down. Great. So, now, since we're right here at our house, we will just fly in. And we're going to make the appropriate kibble for that. Because why not feed it what it wants? More than anything in the world, it loves to eat dillo egg kibble. And so we'll make about, I don't know, nine of them. And that should, that should satisfy it. So while we're in here, we'll go ahead and put away these crystals. And we're waiting for our kibble to be made up um 
I don't know if I mentioned it. So did you notice? I, I made a little, you know, there's kind of wasted space under the stairs. So I just made a little area here. And this is where we're keeping our snails now. I don't, I don't think I mentioned that before. But, um, yeah, I, I think it's nice. It's kind of unobtrusive, a little bit, you know, making use of space that was otherwise kind of wasted. And, and I like it. The, the, they live in the little cupboard under the stairs like Harry Potter. I like it. Maybe we should name our snails Harry and Potter. I think I'll do that. <laughs> it's so dumb. I got to do it now. And then we'll put away this paste. And we will grab our kibble. Oh, we got cakes for them too. Let's go ahead and, and feed Harry and Potter. Okay, you, you're trying to get out now? All right, don't, you can't go. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna change their names. You, you get to be Harry. It doesn't matter who's Harry because they, they don't have genders. There's Harry and Harry can have two of these cakes. No, um, just, just two of them. Take that paste. And where's Potter? Okay. Great. And wait a minute. Can I just? Okay, that's Harry. That's Potter. Can we not take Harry's stuff? Wait a minute, Potter. Why didn't you have any stuff? Okay, that doesn't seem right. Here, eat that. And we, yeah, we'll check you later. Okay. Anyway, I might have to disable Wander and re-enable Wander. I know you have to do that sometimes with, um, like, dung beetles. They start producing their stuff uh, after, like, server resets and things. So, all right, enough, enough freaking management of stuff. Now, we're going to... Gonna head back over to our little dodeck. Oh, oh, you know, before we do that, we've got in here, because I knew I was gonna do this. Um, I want one dodeck that's gonna help me with farming, and good lord, look at all this stuff. So, one dodeck for farming, one dodeck for just being in here and doing stuff. So, um, we're gonna give. I, I did a perfect saddle for the, the one that we're going to farm with, and, and this one can just have a crap saddle for now. And out we go again. And hopefully this is enough for, for this guy. Wow, okay, it's already eaten. Yeah, that's definitely going to be more than enough. But yeah, you can just you can just keep that kibble. We don't care. We're happy you've got that kibble. And it, it tamed out at a 530 something, um, which is fine. Let's see, it's got uh, 12,000 weight. So, yeah, okay. For the time being, because I want to go play with the RG now, uh, we're going to take our lovely... Okay, you can stop following. That's right, hold on. Stop following so I can get around and pick you up. Can you just take it in and put it next to our Lystro for a bit? Let it get a few levels. Great. Okay, and you just, you feel free to just soak up some levels for a little bit. We need, we're going to need more weight on it. It doesn't get great bumps. And now we're going to go out and scout a little bit more. But that was, see, that's great. That's great. Now we've, we've answered the question, does the Eternal Dodak do anything special? Yes, in fact, it does. Um, it is a, a mortar and pestle, like, similar to the um, Conflagrant Beelzebufo from Pugnacia. So that is great, and it's got a crafting speed stat that we can bump up, uh, which I will do. We'll increase that, that crafting speed quite a bit. Um, we've got the bulk grinder and the regular mortar and pestles still just chugging away on stuff, but um, having that, it'll supplant 
especially it'll supplant those mortars and pestles that are super, super slow. Um, but for now, that's what we have uh, done for today. I, I hope you've enjoyed this. It's informative. The RG is it's back on my, my happy list. And uh, we will talk with all of you again very, very soon.